Uh, everybody, this is Kathy Bills, Quantum Leap, Let Light Unite show on UPR and radio. And this is Friday, November 8th, 2019. Today, um, you know, guys, um, we're going to do another energy show tonight and do some energy work because it really is making a difference. Um, and, you know, you guys, while I'm talking, if you would go get your crystals, you know, the United States really, really needs some help. We've got some wackos in charge. And Mercury is in retrograde. Now, if you don't know what that means, it means if it can go wrong, it will. Um, kind of like Murphy's Law in Action. I did say Mercury in retrograde, not Murphy in retrograde. <clears throat> okay, Mercury in retrograde. So what can happen is you can have communication problems, things, uh, appointments may not want to come together. Um, you might have a difficulty getting something done. Um, communication, your car can break down during this time, your phone, your computer, electrical things. It's not a time for starting new things. It's a time for completing things and finishing things. So we're going to work with Mercury in retrograde, especially when it comes to Trump and everything he does. And also we're going to work on the Borneo fire tonight. Um, in case you haven't heard, there's a big forest fire in another one of the um, rainforests. It's really important to the earth. So we're going to focus um, before we do the energy work on Bor Borneo first. And before we get to that, I just wanted to share with you a few things that did happen this week. Mercury's in retrograde. Now, the federal judges in the United States are really starting to clamp down on Trump and his whole cabinet. Now, Trump got a $2 million fine because of his fake charity, which he would take in money and then use it for whatever else he needed. So, um, yeah, that's, that's actually the Trump family. So him getting fined $2 million is a big deal. Uh, the impeachment hearings are moving forward. And that was also started before Mercury went into retrograde. And now it's spinning and really moving forward faster. And then, oh, my God, Trump was booed. Not once, but twice. And to me, when I hear that he's booed, he went to a stadium, a couple of stadiums and an MMA fight. And he walked in and or they put the camera on him and the whole crowd went, oh, you're going, oh, my God, there is hope. The United States is starting to wake up. Maybe the energy work we're doing is finally shifting stuff. I would like to think so. Now, tomorrow. He's going to be at the Alabama Stadium, and I don't know if that's Alabama University um, State, Alabama State. I'm not sure on that because I'm really not into football games. Um, but anyway, the Alabama University went and told everybody that they're not going to be allowed to um, boo Trump, and if they did, they would le lose their box seats. <laughs> and then I guess they got such a bad reaction, they had to back it down. So I can't wait to see what's going to happen in Alabama. Alabama is a pretty red state, but, you know, with all Trump's policies, these people are getting crushed, too. So we're going to have to, you know, pins and needles kind of see, um, thing to see what's going to happen with Trump tomorrow. Now, Betsy DeVos, kind of like Cruella from Disney, you know, the one that liked to wear dog fur, real evil person. Well, Betsy DeVos is Secret Secretary of Education, and she's a million, million, millionaire. To give you a little background on her, and her brother is um, Eric Prince. What a name. And he is a mercenary. Yeah, that's this family. Um, so she's Secretary of Education. Now, they took her to court because of all the student loans where students would get loans from sham universities. And the judge said she was supposed to forgive them all their loans. Well, she didn't. And she went after them. And many of these students um, 
had their wages garnished and of course they were laid on their mortgages if they had them all because of her and the judge told her not to do this and she went even above and beyond and did it to more people than actually she was supposed to well the judge yay fined her a hundred million dollars and put her in contempt of court so this is a big deal because these guys are really starting to get noticed by the judges. <laughs> oh, oh, this is a big one. Okay, um, CPS, Child Protection Services. Now the judge finally said, you know, you've lied to me 16,000 times. Well, I would really love to know what was the 16,001 that tipped this judge over to where she's now finding this group, these people, these reptilians, $50,000 a day for how they are taking care of children and lying. $50,000 a day. Boom. Yay. So, uh, you know, that gives me a lot of um, energy to work with. And also, I don't know if you noticed this week, but um, Trump has kind of merged the state with um, evangelicalism and allowed this evangelical lady named Paula something and gotta admit she's pretty but she does speak in tongues and her philosophy is a um, prosperity and you need to give her money for you to prosper and if you don't then God will get you among other things. Yeah. Um, so this is who um, Trump has allowed in the White House, and this is really illegal. You're supposed to keep state and church separated. But what she does is she gets all the other evangelical pastors together, and they put a laying on of hands at Trump, and they pray, and they go, oh, Jesus, protect him from everybody else, all the witches out there that are directing dark energy at him. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, my bad. And blah, blah, blah. And may they be smited. My words kind of paraphrase, you know. Um, so we're going to also negate her magic or what she thinks is magic. And, you know, it's all intent. And if you put enough energy into it, things can happen. So we're going to give Paula a little um, attention to. All right, guys. So are you ready to get started? We're going to do a lot of energy work and I'm going to try to put in as much as I can because gosh, guys, when you've got 300,000 people tuning in and we'll say maybe, you know, a quarter is not really paying attention, but the rest are and you're giving energy to this work. It's really amplifying. The work is out on the airwaves and it makes a big difference. And you hold a crystal in your hand and it's amplifying your energy work even more. I'm in my store where I have a crystal store and I have the largest crystal in Hawaii. And for those of you that have visual, I'm kind of moving out of my way. What's behind me is my thousand pound smoky quartz, double terminated, elestial earth keeper. That's over a thousand pounds. That's kind of on my back and, you know, amplifying our work. And I've got another 650 pound crystal. Plus I got a whole store full of crystals. Anyway, the point is we've got a big vortex going, get your crystals ready and let's do some work. All right. So for those of you who are going to participate, put your feet flat on the floor, put your hands in your lap like you're going to receive right now. And I want you to take a deep breath. I want you to inhale light and exhale out everything that no longer serves you. And imagine all that unwanted energy going through the violet flame back to God. And you fill up with your divine essence. So do that till I tell you to stop. So as you're doing that, I'm going to surround each one of you in a bubble of golden flame. I add to that the blue flame of protection, the violet flame of transmutation, the green flame of healing. And I'm sealing you in the pink flame of love. And I call to your teachers, guides, masters, and all the divine beings that work with you. And invite them in to help us amplify our energy work today that we're doing for the earth and all life forms.
Now, as you inhale and as you exhale, feel your silver cord going up from the top of your head and reconnecting with the creator and feel all that incredible high divine energy come pouring into your body, come pouring into the top of your head, flowing all the way down your legs, out your feet, into the earth. And we are going to send this energy into all the trees into their roots to energize them. Let that energy flow down your arms, out your hands, down your spine, feel totally consumed in this bubble. So now I want you to imagine we're in this huge stadium, you got people to the right, people to the left, and in the circle of this, in the center of the stadium, we're gonna put this huge Earth Keeper crystal. It's over 10 ton to amplify our work. And then we're gonna put do bubbles of light um, over the crystal and put the energy work in the bubble. So now you got people to the right, to the left, feel this energy flow down your right arm into the hand of the person that you're holding to the right and feel that energy now flow all the way around in a circle in many circles, because this is a full stadium and we're all also connected through our heart chakras. And now allow this as this energy flows to the right, we call to all the other gods and goddesses of light, all the divine beings, whether they're past, present, future on the planet now, and invite them to put the, add their energy to what we're doing, the cosmic beings, the elemental kingdom, air, earth, fire, and water, and all the prayers tonight that are of light with their everyone's permission. See that energy being added to what we're doing. Now imagine we're sending love and light to the left and as the energy flows to the left, the circle is now closed. So only that which is light may enter. And we really invite the trees in and to take this energy again, we're just gonna send it down into the earth through her roots so the earth becomes stable and heals itself. And then out through the branches so all life forms can feel it and feel an enlightenment and a shift upward into the light. We call to all the rock stones, crystals, minerals on the planet, all the earth keepers to lock in to the earth keeper in the center and amplify our work even more. We call to all the grids, ley lines, meridian stones, obelisks, pyramids, all the sacred and holy spots on the planet to lock in to this divine circle. And I'm gonna ask that everyone here that participates receives a healing and that you guide us into doing that our will, but thy will be done. So be it. So again, feel yourself reconnect to the creator and all that incredible high energy flow down. We're gonna direct it into the center, forming a bubble of light. And in this bubble of light, we're gonna put in country of Borneo, and if California has any other fires going on, we're going to put them in this bubble or anywhere else on the planet. But for now, we're just going to focus on Bor Bor Borneo. All right, let there be light in the name of the presence of God, which I am through the magnetic power of the sacred fire vested in me, I command. We call to Michael the Archangel to come forth and cut all ties to whatever, whomever started the fires. Cut ties to all negativity that the elementals have taken on, the fire elemental that and could not hold the energy, so they have to burn it off through fire. As we now cut the ties, we call the violet flame through this fire and command the fire elemental to now burn off its anger through the violet flame. We send the energy of the angel light to heal the fire elemental. Now we reconnect the fire elemental to the creator and command it become calm and neutralized. Now we're going to command the wind elemental to now become calm. Now we're going to command the angels to redirect the air pressure around these places to draw in rain clouds into the area. We call to the water elemental in those areas, the streams, lakes, ponds, the oceans to now release heavy moisture into the air, creating a very high, high humidity 
the rain clouds form. We also ask that there's a drop in barometric pressure that will draw rain into those areas and see rain clouds forming and it raining hard enough to put out the fires with no lightning. Call the higher selves of all that are trying to calm the fire down and ask that they're divinely guided what to do and where to put the water so the fires calm down. And we're gonna send energy to all the firefighters so they get a good night's sleep and they're well rested. And when they get up, they're refreshed. Lots of energy and divinely inspired on what they need to do to put the fires out. Call to the men and women that are doing the fire drops, the air drops that they be intuitively guided to be perfect on their drops so the fires go out. We're going to command the angels to do everything they can to stop more fires from being started, especially if they're man reptilian created. Now, as the fire elemental reconnects to the creator, it now allows itself to come in calm and neutral and see rain raining in those areas. All right, let's fill this up with light and love. And I'm going to take a deep breath and release it. And give thanks for this opportunity to serve. So we're going to create another bubble of light. And in this bubble of light, we're going to put in the United States and all life forms. And I'm going to ask you to join me in helping the U.S. become spiritually awakened beings. So let there be light in the name of the presence of God, which I am through the magnetic power, the sacred fire vested in me, I command. Imagine a golden solar energy descending down around all domes, obelisks, pyramids, and all sacred spots in the United States, anchoring that energy down to all the grids and ley lines. See this high energy Reconnecting all this, ley lines and grids to the creator. See this energy descending down around and through the White House, Pentagon, the Congress, the Senate, and where the shadow government hides. Call by yourselves if everyone in government step forward into the light now, work for the good of the people making divine decisions. And if they choose not to, which is their free will, we ask your higher selves and guardian angels to put them in positions of total harmlessness letting a light worker take their place. We ask that they're given lots of thoughts. They now want to retire and spend time with their families. And we're going to call the Ganesha to put up blocks around all the Republicans who are doing everything they can to give Russia power in the United States. Block them, block them. Put them in positions of harmlessness. Let them get voted out. Let their constituents come to them and really speak their minds and see them being replaced, either through voting or recalls, or they retire. And see the impeachment of Donald J. Trump moving forward. We send energy to all the politicians that are working on stopping war and anything else that's for the benefit of Earth and all life forms. See them being divinely inspired with new ways to get positive action moving forward. We command the angels to give them and their families complete protection. We ask that all veils of darkness that is around anyone in the U.S. or planet that's keeping people from becoming conscious beings be removed and replaced with a connection to their spiritual selves, becoming conscious beings. Call the higher selves of the National Guard and military asking all overlays be removed from you. So you too become conscious beings. And as awakened beings, you see everyone in every country as your family, friends, relatives, as people that you harmonize with and start doing many acts of kindness for humanity. The more acts of kindness you do, the more you fill up with this intense divine joy that makes you want to do more acts of kindness. Now, in the very center of the United States, we're going to anchor the violet flame and see it 
flow outward. So the whole United States is covered. And we're going to ask Michael to come forth and cut all ties to any black magic, anything satanic. It's people keeping people in the United States from becoming conscious beings and seeing clearly what Trump is doing and voice their opinions, but doing it in a way no one will be hurt or harmed. Let their voices be heard. And as they become awakened, conscious spiritual beings, let them be given their divine missions and divine purposes and how they're going to move forward. And see people in the United States awakening. Now let's anchor the divine energy of quantum leaping the world in the United States into divine enlightenment and see that go outwards in all directions. Oh, oh, excuse me. And as it flows in all directions, see there being a divine spiritual awakening, again, where everyone reconnects to the creator and they become an awakened spiritual being, being able to recognize good and evil and being able to recognize and see clearly everything, all the dark stuff. Trump and his cabinet is doing and responding by expressing their voices when he's around and taking it to the streets wherever he is. All right, fill that up with light and love and we're going to take a deep breath and release it. Thank you. Thanks for this opportunity to serve. All right, we're going to put Mitch McConnell and Elaine Chow in another bubble of light. Now, Mitch McConnell is the Republican leader in the Senate that refuses to do anything about any bills the Democrats in the Congress sent through. He's sitting on them. He's called himself the Grim Reaper. And he's already said that he's not going to really allow the impeachment to go forward. And he's going to kill it in the Senate. Cancel clear, cancel clear. So he's married to a Chinese woman called Elaine Chow. And, you know, together they're like Boris and Natasha and pretty dark. So we're going to put Mitch McConnell and his wife, Elaine Chow, in this bubble. So let there be light in the name of the presence of God, which I am through the magnetic power, the sacred fire vested in me, I command. Called McConnell and Elaine Chow's higher selves to help them set forward in the light. And if they choose not to, which is their free will, <clears throat> then I ask their higher selves and guardian angels to put them in a position of harmlessness. I surround them in a bubble of mirror that faces them two inches from their nose. And we add the violet flame to the bubble to transmute all dark energy they put out. So they have no forward movement. The bubble of mirror stays up 24-7, 365 days a year until they do works of good. We ask that all their works be revealed. So there's total transparency with everything they do. We want all their works be revealed and all their connections to Russia and China be brought up in the, to the surface in a way that they are removed from office and given prison time for their actions. We ask the last at all satanic magic energy that is protecting them be removed from their energy fields, allowing them to be removed from office. We ask that Archangel Michael tie and bind all of the Connells and Elaine Chow's energy so they don't have any forward movement with any of their personal projects. We cut all ties, oaths, and vows. They have taken to Satan, the wealthy and Republican Party, and Russia, and Trump. As that energy is removed from them, see them being reconnected to the creator to become an awakened spiritual being who now wants to do works of good, along with the desire to retire, spend more time with their family, and stuff. 
We're going to ask your higher selves and guardian angels again to put them in positions of harmlessness and see them being replaced with a human being light worker. Let McConnell's and Elaine's Chow's power diminish to nothing. So be it. And let's take a deep breath and release this bubble. <sighs> Give thanks for this opportunity to serve. So we're going to create another bubble of light. And in this bubble of light, we're going to put an evangelical woman in the White House, Paula White, and all her evangelical folks that are praying for Trump and praying for disharmony for everyone else. We're going to cut ties between them and their energy and their group. We're going to violet flame everything they do. And we're going to ask if it's for their highest good, Violet flame stays up around them 24-7, 365 days a year, transmuting any dark energy they're putting out toward any light worker. She is in there illegally, and let there be someone in Congress that can get her out. She should not be there. I'm going to ask the, Michael the Archangel also... We're going to again call the violet flame. We're going to cut the ties to all her dark energy, violet flame it, transmute it so it's nothing. Any demons they send out, we're going to ask Michael to tie and bind them and send them back to God and fill that space up with an angel of love, a compassion of kindness, of enlightenment. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, we're going to fill that up with light and love and take a deep breath and release it. Give thanks for this opportunity to serve. All right, we're going to do another bubble of light. Take a deep breath, feel that energy flow through you into the center. And in this bubble of light, we're going to direct it at ICE, CPS, and the Border Patrol immigration agents and all who run child concentration camps. So in the let there be light in the name of the presence of God, which I am, through the magnetic power of the sacred fire vested in me, I command. All the higher selves of all the ICE, CPS, Border Patrol, immigration agents, and all who run child concentration camps who have any intent of hurting or harming any child in custody or concentration camps anywhere on the planet, asking for permission to help these law enforcement individuals to reconnect to the creator, become enlightened beings at one and at peace with all humans, all life forms, and the planet Earth. We see all dark etheric astral beings that they have overlays on, any of the ICE, CPS, Border Patrol, immigration agents, and all who run child concentration camps that's keeping them from connecting to the creator be removed from them now. See these dark astral beings being tied and bound, we send them through the violet flame to clean up their energies. Now we send them back to the creator, filling that space up with the being of divine light. As these ancients have this unwanted energy removed from them, we see them being to re begin to reconnect to the creator. Their hearts are now unblocking. So they have, so they start having feelings and emotions that are kinder in nature. Hearts filled with compassion. We now see the reptilian part of their brain begin to shut down, disconnecting them from their satanic rituals that bound them together, resulting in the God brain being reactivated. Any ICPS Border Patrol immigration agents and all who run child concentration camps that choose not to evolve in the light, we command their higher selves and guardian angels to put them in positions of harmlessness. Now, see them being removed from their positions and replaced with no one as the children are reunited with their families and the camps are closed down. We see all protective overlays around these officials removed and that they're responsible for child neglect or abuse of any kind or deaths. Let them be brought to justice with prison time for their actions. If any of them are child trafficking, and I consider if you're sending the parents out of country you're taking their children now and putting them up for adoption for $40,000 a pop. And guess who has an adoption agency in her world? Betty DeVos. 
Ah, what a small world in Trump's world, huh? We want those children reunited with their parents. Now, for those that created these programs against immigrants, including Trump and all his staff, Nikki Haley, Stephen Miller, Mitch McConnell, and all complicit politicians who have chosen to have a blonde, blind eye to child concentration camps, let them all be brought to justice with prison time for their actions. We call to all politicians to end child concentration camps and war against immigrants. And if they choose to ignore or be complicit, may they all be removed from office and lose all their funding. We're going to send energy to all those federal judges that are hearing Trump cases and let them be firm. Let them be fine and do everything in their power to get these camps closed down and the children back to their parents. And if Trump doesn't want to do it, obviously it's his free will and Miller and the rest of the gang. We're going to ask that federal judge to remove all magic, all satanic magic around her or him, and to send out warrants for the arrest. Donald Trump, Nikki Haley, Mitch McConnell, Stephen Miller, and all complicit politicians that created these programs and that are in contempt of court. See all funding for all their equipment and more troops be cut from them and redirected to peaceful protest groups. See those responsible for to child or child concentration camps being sent to prison, again, with all children being returned to their correct families. Now we're going to call Ganesha to put up many obstacles in the way of immigration and ICE raids so their raids fall apart. Now all their vehicles break down so they're stuck at the office. Imagine many miscommunications between themselves along with a breakdown with all their telecommunication equipment. Let there be many, many whistleblowers that leak information out where the raids are going to be so the immigrants can protect themselves. May all immigrants be invisible to ICE and immigration. May all immigrants not answer their doors. See more state governors, mayors, attorney generals refuse to cooperate with ICE and immigration, not allowing them to use the police databases nor their police departments for immigration roundups. See Stephen Miller being removed from office and all his Nazi immigration plans falling apart now. So let's send energy to all immigrants to be calm and divinely inspired on what actions they need to protect themselves. Let the churches come out and offer sanctuaries where it's needed. See people from all walks of life offer to hide immigrants and their families who are in need of protection and support. See the groups coming out and surrounding ICE and CPS and blocking them from their immigrant raids. All right, fill that up with energy, and we're going to take a deep breath and release it. Give thanks for this opportunity to serve. Like I said, we're going to do a lot of um, energy work tonight. All right, we're going to create another bubble of light. And in this bubble of light, we're going to put Trump and his whole family in it. So let there be light. In the name of the presence of God, which I am, through the magnetic power, the sacred fire vested in me, I command. Called all the crystals in Washington, D.C. area to amplify light and transparency everywhere in the Capitol, the Pentagon, in the Senate, in the Congress, and where the impeachment trials are being held. We ask the Creator to remove all energy overlays that's keeping the public from seeing 
all the unnecessary expenses that the Trump family is creating that the public is paying for. See, the mass general public demand Trump either stop going on as many vacation trips to any of his golf courses or pay for the trips themselves, no longer using taxpayer funds for his golf trips or his Nazi rallies. See Trump having to pay all this money back to the taxpayers. See Trump and Trump's organization having to pay back all the money at all those Nazi rally events in all those cities that he has stiffed. We're going to call the higher selves of the division decision makers and ask that they be divinely inspired to put liens on Trump's properties until he pays up, to garnish Trump's wages until he pays up. We ask that all veils and overlays that are protecting any of Trump's kids, wives, or ex-wives from the public's eye and receiving real justice are removed now. Let all their plans be brought to the surface in a way that Congress, the Senate, and the New York Southern District Courts take action and strip them of all their power they've been given by daddy. To replace with someone with international experience, remove all protection magic that's protecting them from jail time for all their illegal practices of making money from the president's office. See all the appropriate state prosecuting attorneys pursuing the Trump family for all their past and present money laundering schemes. Let them be given prison time for all their treasonous actions. Everything they have done with Russia, let it all come out to the surface, be brought up in a way justice has to be served and people realize that they are traitors. Let all and everything come up to the surface that this family has done with the Saudis and China and any other dark country out there that they've used for their own personal gain. Let it be brought up to the surface in a way justice will come in. And again, they're given prison time for their actions. We ask Trump's higher self to release his hatred of anyone that's not white going backwards and forwards through hundreds of thousands of his former lives. Now let's remove his father's overlay of um, racism over Trump. And as it's removed, we ask his higher self to help him reconnect to the creator to become awakened spiritual being. See all Trump's mob ties being severed and transmuted by the violent fire so Trump can no longer pull from that crime syndicate energy, whether it's Russian, Saudi, or American. Let all Trump's mob secrets be brought up to the surface and revealed to all, allowing real justice to step in. Let all the ties that the Republicans have to Russia be brought up to the surface and revealed in a way where justice has to come in and remove them from office. Remove all magical overlays of protection around Trump so there is complete transparency on how he sexually abuses children and women. Let's send energy to all those women Trump, ha Trump has sexually abused in the past and present, along with the energy they need to come forward to speak truth and be protected from Trump and his followers. We call the higher selves of everyone in the United States to realize that Donald Trump and family are a national security threat. And we ask that every Amer American needs to demand that their representatives, judicial elected, stand up and insist that the Trump administration be impeached, removed from office because of all his high crimes and misdemeanors. Let there be a world tribunal to judge Trump's betrayal of the Kurds and any ethnic cleansing that results from his actions. Let everything come up to the surface that actually <clears throat> Trump has tried doing, the extortion Trump tried to do with Ukraine. Let that all come to the surface. And done in a way where Trump is impeached 
Pence is impeached, removed from office. And we're going to ask Michael, the Archangel, to remove all overlays along with cutting all ties and binds that Bill Barr has to the New World Order, Trump, and the Catholic Church. Let there be total transparency with all he does. See Barr losing his law license, impeached and removed from office. Called Archangel Michael to remove all overlays of magic that's keeping the Congress and Senate from standing firm, impeaching and removing Trump from office. We cut all ties and binds that Trump has to the KKK, Nazis, all white nationalism, and the Nazi racist Stephen Miller and evangelicals. Let's call the violet flame through all this energy to transmute all hate. See all Stephen Miller Trump's immigration plans falling apart as well as Miller being removed from all his office in the White House. If Trump has Hitler genes bloodline, we now cut those ties to Hitler, the past and violet flame, all that energy replaced with light. We ask Trump's higher self to now let him reconnect to the creator so he becomes an awakened spiritual being who now knows better than to hurt or harm. Again, if Trump refuses, which is his free will, we ask his higher self to put him in a position of harmlessness now and that means impeach and remove from office with prison time. Let's tie and bind the god and goddess of war and chaos and all chaos magic attached to Trump and the Republican Party. See the chaos magic neutralizing to nothing, having no power. See all of Trump's evil programs being reversed and repealed. See Trump's barren tax be repealed and replaced with a tax rate from 2017. See the courts making Donald Trump show all his tax returns, see him losing to the courts, see the whistleblowers come out and leak, let the leakers come out and leak the information. Let's call it Ganesha, the remover of obstacles to remove all blocks that's keeping Trump's taxes from being released especially to the general public. Let's send energy to the Democrats in power to be divinely inspired on how to impeach and remove Trump Pence and all their cabinet members from offices. See divine accountability manifesting in all those people's lives. See all satanic magic that's keeping the Trumps in power be neutralized. See people boycotting all of Trump's properties and protests of his putting children in cages, his immigration family separation policies, being a Russian Putin collaborator, destroying our farms and destroying the USA from within. See all overlays of Nazi and evangelical magic removed from Trump and his family. It's time for Trump Pence to be impeached and all their family members removed from office, replaced with a human being light worker. See all of Trump's plans falling apart now. And we're going to call the higher selves of all those light workers out there that wherever Trump goes, wherever publicly, public he goes, if it's their mission to protest, let them be divinely inspired to protest if it's their mission to go and happen to be where he is let them express their voice and their displeasure in ways where they will and no one will be hurt or harmed all right let's take a deep breath and release it thanks for this opportunity to serve All right, let's create another bubble of light. And in this bubble of light, we're going to put in all the white male racists, Republican Party, and unenlightened Democrats. All right, let there be light. In the name of the presence of God, which I am through the magnetic power of sacred fire vest me, I command. I'm going to do this really quick. Call the Michael the Archangel to cut all ties that the Republican Party and unenlightened Democrats have to any satanic black magic that's keeping them in power. Cut all ties to all their money sources, including including the Koch brothers and Mercer family. We send this money energy back to God to clean it up. Now let's send all those money sources back to the poor and those who are standing up to the Republicans, including all the recall groups. We ask that these groups receive lots of donation and excited fresh volunteers. 
to make the recall successful, replacing the Republican Party, racist and unenlightened Democrats, along with Trump and his whole cabinet and family with compassionate, kind, awakened spiritual beings. Let those beings be out there that want to protect our election. Let them be sent lots of energy and divinely inspired on how to not Trump win if he makes it that far through the Electoral College. See that being blocked. We remove all energy veils that are around all people living in the United States. We're keeping them from reconnecting to the creator to become awakened spiritual beings as they reconnect to the creator, see them <clears throat> becoming divinely conscious beings, seeing truth and through all the lies and deceptions as transparency is manifested. See the masses filled with all kinds of divine inspiration on how to remove the Republicans, white racists, and unenlightened Democrats from office through political channels, holding special elections to remove them from office, replacing them with a human being light worker filled with compassion for all light forms. Called Ganesha to place many obstacles in the way of all Republicans, white racists that want to create and implement programs that are not for the good for earth or any life forms. Programs that are intended to hurt and harm the poor see them all falling apart. As people awake and see them going to their Republican and unenlightened Democrats, representatives, speaking their minds of discontent with all their agendas. As Republicans and unenlightened Democrats awaken, see them connect to the creator and now allows them to see the horror that they wanted to create, then being inspired to correct it with compassionate love of service for others. See them now funding all social programs, Meals on Wheels, including women's health care clinics, and closing the child concentration camps down. We cut ties to the fear of women and the obsessive need to control them. We call the higher selves of all Republicans, step forward in light, cut all ties. Michael the Archangel and Shiva, the unbalanced fear of women, abortion obsession. Patriarchy, genocide, rape, pillage, plunder, incest, greed, power, gladiator mentality, military war, might is right mentality from their energy fields, cells, atoms, molecules, all the way down to their DNA, going through all the incarnations. As this energy is released, I call the violet flame through them and all their works that are misdirected. Cut all ties to all black art and negative ceremonies that are being done and any will to manipulate humanity and the earth for greed and profit. As it's released, we call the divine male-female consciousness to their parts that will flow to the reptilian part of their brain. Call the higher selves to guide these men and women to release all women, slaves, or any other slaves, anyone being used as slave labor. Let us fill them up with divine respect for women, life, the planet, and all living things. See men and women's higher selves guiding them to accepting divine matriarchy and opening their heart to and crown chakras. As these centers open, see them being very balanced, loving, kind, generous, peaceful, supporting women and groups that are in the light. Fill all these men with divine joy, divine mission, respecting the goddess within and giving freedom and honor to all women. See them becoming kinder and allowing women to be equal, divinely conscious beings. We cut all ties to all executive orders that Trump has written and retained in the office of the Great Seal. We violet flame them to clean up their dark energies. Now we reconnect all those orders to the creator and command them to be neutral. No more forward movement. All black magic giving any of his executive order, any kind of energy being canceled, cleared, and neutralized. We, need see, we now see Trump's executive orders being rolled back and stricken from the books. We cut all ties to Trump, Bannon, Miller, along with any complicit Republican, or unenlightened Democrat, Russian, Nazis' vision of reinventing the USA. We see this energy having all forward movement, stop, also dissolved completely. See all their Nazi Russian plans falling apart. Call the higher self of Trump and all reptilians trying to keep him in power. Republicans, reptilians, same thing. Step forward in the light of God, stop acting like Nazi reptilians, leave all social programs and citizens' rights intact. Roll back all laws that hurt the mass general public and if you choose to not to, which is your free will. We ask your higher selves and guardian angels to put you in positions of harmlessness, letting awakened spiritual beings take your place. 
And if that means you're recalled and you're put off out of office through voting, so be it. Let it be done. Cut all addiction ties that Trump and the Republican Party and unenlightened Democrats have to greed, money, and gold. Cut addictive ties Trump has to greed, adoration, and drive to become a dictator. Cancel queer, cancel queer, cancel queer. And if it's for Trump's and the Republicans' highest good that their karma is returned to them now for their actions against women, the poor, children, and the planet, then let it be done, which may include loss of money, all supporters of any kind, and all power. Let the magic of protection be removed from around them and all their plans now. And if it's for Trump's highest good, for the highest good of everyone in the planet, let him be tried for treason, be sent to prison for all his high crimes and misdemeanors against the USA and the people of the world. We see Trump, his family cabinet, doing jail time for their acts of treason. We see them being removed from office in a way no one will be hurt or harmed, replaced with a compassionate humanitarian. Now let's send energy to all the enlightened Democrats and awakening Republicans standing up for the earth and all life forms. May they be sent everything they need to be successful. May divine enlightenment descend on all Republicans and Democrats now. May divine enlightenment awaken within all Republicans and Democrats now. Fill this up with energy and let's take a deep breath and release it. And I give thanks for this opportunity to serve. So real quick, let's do one more bubble of light. And in this bubble of light, we're going to put in all the um, light workers, which includes you. See them recharge, regenerate, fill up with so much light that they're now magnetizing everything they need. People to work with abundance on all levels, coming from all directions. Their divine mates, see divine mates coming together and working in harmony. See the light workers being successful and moving forward. Now let's send energy to their heart chakra and from their heart chakra, let it go to anywhere in their bodies that they need healing. And we're going to call to their higher self and ask their higher self now to activate their divine blueprint for perfect health. And it starts manifesting in their lives now. All right, let's fill this up with light and love. And we're going to take a deep breath and release it. Okay, that's it for tonight. Let's close the circle and let's do three ohms. Oh. Oh. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. May all the beings in all the worlds be happy. So be it. All right, everybody ground. Um, if you have hematite, go grab that. Go hold it. Um, put feet flat on the floor and feel that earth energy come up. Come up your legs. Feel yourself ground. Pull back in body. Feel yourself become very clear headed. Very balanced. Back in body. Very grounded. I know it's winter time, but usually I said, if you can get dressed warm, if you're still high after the show and go hug a tree, you don't have to hug it. Just put your hands with your mittens on, touch the tree, send energy into the tree for 30 seconds. Ask the tree to send your energy back and boom, the tree will and you'll ground. Okay. So thank you guys for tuning in tonight and helping me with this energy work. We need it. I mean, we just had a bunch of elections and Democrats really started moving forward and started winning. So the people are rejecting the Republicans and their policies and Trump. So help keep this energy work going. I'm going to ask that anyone who listens to this or watches this video after um, that this energy work is amplified over 100,000 fold every time anybody looks at it. So again, I'm going to say thank you again. And really, guys, your, your energy makes a difference. What we do does make a difference. So, you know, if you're walking or doing dishes, you can keep pulling in that divine energy. 
May divine enlightenment descend on everyone now. May divine enlightenment awaken within everyone now. May divine enlightenment descend on Republicans now. May divine enlightenment awaken within Republicans now. Okay? Keep the energy going. And I hope I see you next week, same time. This is Kathy Bilski, the Quantum Leap Let Light Unite show on UPR and radio. And again, this is Friday night. 10 o'clock your time in out in Pacific, one o'clock in the morning, Saturday, out east and Hawaiian time, it's eight o'clock. So I'm gonna bid you good night, have a safe weekend, keep up the energy work. If you wanna do more energy work, pay attention to my Facebook page. But you never know when I'm gonna pop up to do live energy work during the week, all right? Aloha, guys.